Let's talk about printing live at events. The weather is heating up and it's time to heat up those profits with heat printing custom apparel at events such as concerts, festivals, fairs, you name it. But the question is, whenever you're thinking about doing events, can it be profitable? Is it easy? And is this something I should actually do? And there are a few things to consider. So let's go ahead and review those. And we're also going to show you how easy it is to use custom heat transfers and a heat press to be successful printing live at events. Let's dive in. No matter what event you are going on site for and setting up shop, you are going to be limited to a certain amount of space and you'll likely be paying for that space. So you want to consider what type of equipment you're actually going to be taking on site. And that's the beauty of working with a heat press for printing live at events. They have a small footprint such as the A to Z heat press, for example, it's only a 15 by 15. So even if you're working with a 16 by 20 and it's a clam, for an example, that's still a great option to be able to take to an event. But if you're limited on space, consider downsizing. Again, the A to Z is a 15 by 15, which makes it a little, a little bit more lightweight for you to lug around and set up shop at different events. Another great example is the 360 IQ hat heat press. It also has a small footprint, but it's going to open up your options as far as different products that you can offer for live printing at these festivals, fairs, concerts, and what have you. Right? That way you can build more profit opportunity in the products that you're offering at the event. So two really great considerations are the A to Z, 15 by 15 heat press and the 360 IQ for printing on site. This equipment is going to have a small footprint that is great for small spaces, which you may be limited to at events. A second key consideration is power. No matter what event you are going to be working at and printing on site, for your equipment, you are going to need accessible electricity. Now this may already come included in your space or it may be a separate purchase that you have to make for your space. So just connect with the event coordinator or whoever may be hosting this event to make sure you have the accurate power or electricity to run your equipment. Now, other considerations to consider here are the amount of heat presses you're going to take. Most heat presses do require dedicated electricity, and that information is all in the specs of your machine. So pay close attention to that whenever you're requesting the amount of electricity you need for the space. In addition to that, even if you're just taking one heat press, you're still going to need a computer or some sort of order taking system to run credit cards or purchases for whatever items you're selling. So make sure that you have dedicated electricity in your space for your heat press in addition to whatever else you may be running in that space. Third tip for printing on-site at events is to not custom print all of your blanks before you go. No matter the event, if it's outdoor or indoor, you're never guaranteed the amount of people that are going to show up and you can avoid wasted inventory by printing on site at the event as needed. So it's as simple as that, taking your equipment, ordering custom heat transfers and printing as it's being ordered. I'm gonna show you just how easy that is using custom screen printed transfers known as goof proof from Transfer Express. Let's head to the heat press and show you how easy this product is to work with. I already have my shirt loaded onto the A to Z. And before I place my screen print transfer, I'm going to do a quick preheat and test my pressure. That's going to give me um, an idea of where my pressure is at. And anytime I use screen print transfers, I want to make sure that I'm at a nice, high and firm pressure. Right, so once it is preheated to release moisture and wrinkles, and I know that I'm at a nice firm pressure, I already have my time and temperature cued in. And for Goof Proof, it applies at 365 degrees for 
four to six seconds. And that is what's going to make this super easy for application and quick so that you can custom print on site at a fast pace, especially if you are working with a high attendance number. It is also a hot peel, so we can go ahead and remove the carrier sheet and our application is complete. Goofproof does not require an additional hit at the heat press or any accessories such as cover sheets. So all you have to do is place your transfer, apply for four seconds, and the job is done. Now that you've seen how simple it is to use Goofproof in just a four second application, let's talk about simplifying the ordering process for your customer to make it easy on you to fulfill the order. Now we wanna make sure we're bringing what we think will sell. That will help with leftover inventory and it's also going to help with giving your customers options, but not too many. So if you're going to be selling t-shirts, it's great to bring those t-shirts in a couple of different colors in the sizes that you think will sell. Now there are other products that will also help build more profit opportunity, such as hats and accessories like bags or even bandanas. Now you can efficiently be able to order your custom transfers by utilizing gang sheeting. Goofproof comes on an 11 and a quarter by 14 inch sheet. If you can fit a full front, which can vary anywhere from as small as six inches to as, as large as 10 inches, depending on the size, you will still have room on that 11 and a quarter by 14 inch sheet to include a hat design or a small design for any additional accessory you want to include. So, Utilize gang sheeting so that you can fit as many designs as you can on that one gang sheet and then simplify the ordering process by limiting the amount of product the customers have to choose from. That way you can quickly get that order in to fulfill it for your customer with a quick turn. Lastly, we want to make sure we are doing our research, especially if it's a new event. So be sure to discuss with the event coordinator or host or even get in touch with other vendors who attended last year. It's important to understand what type of foot traffic you will get if you do decide to set up shop at these events. It'll also help you understand the audience a little better so you know what blank products you should be ordering and what sizes you need to have. For more information on the products seen in this video, check out the links in the description, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.